All the planes are made to very, very exacting standards. We uh, start with a grey iron casting, which we then fully anneal, normalise, to make sure that there's no tension, no stresses set up into it. Mm -hmm. So we start with a, uh, a, a casting which will be considerably thicker on the sides and the sole of the plane, for two reasons. One, so that we can make sure that it doesn't get any chill in the casting as it's cooling cool now. Yeah. And then from that, we then normalise it and anneal it. That process takes could take several days. Mm -hmm. Um, the traditional method of uh, normalising a casting would have been called seasoning mm -hmm. and that would mean that you would put the casting out to weather yeah. uh, out in the yard and leave it there weathering, in other words hot temperatures, cold temperatures um, throughout the year mm -hmm. and that would be left outside for up to 18 months before mm -hmm. it even be picked up and touched. You can't do that today because if, uh, we have uh, people like accountants who, yeah. <laughs> who need to know where their money is. Yeah, sure. <coughs> so we, we have to apply a heat treatment process to replicate that. Yep. That normalising our annealing is um, predominantly what we do is we load a furnace, we call it a wild bar fuel furnace, mm -hmm. uh, with the base castings stack them in the cast, in, into the furnace and then we seal the furnace and we heat it up to around about 850 degrees C. Yep. It's then soaked at that temperature or held at that temperature for 12 hours mm -hmm. and then the furnace is switched off and it's allowed to cool down until it reaches room temperature before we open up the, the furnace itself. Yep. That's to ensure that A, all the stresses that's inherent in the pouring of the steel, or the, the, the cast iron, has been released from the cast iron, mm -hmm. and it is now at probably its most inert state, its fully annealed state. From that, what we need to do is to ensure we don't put any stresses back into it. Mm -hmm. And to ensure we do, we do that, we have to make sure that we don't put too much heat back into the cast iron that would set up a stress. Yeah. So the castings are individually machined as opposed to machined in a production line. Right. So each plane or each casting is individually machined on the sole, on the sides and on the frog seat. And then cooled, water cooled or machine it's, cooled. It's, just it's, water, it's water cooled on the machines yeah. all the time to yeah. stop any heating. That's the, that's the milling operations done first. Yeah. And from that milled uh, base casting, we then have them epoxy coated with paint mm -hmm. before we then finish grind yeah. the plane.